Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to add text watermarks using Power Automate. But before creating the Power Automate, let's quickly look at our use case. We have a folder in OneDrive known as Watermark Demo. When I add a file to this folder, the document should be automatically watermarked with the confidential text and it should be placed in the SharePoint folder under my username. So now that we understand the use case, let's quickly get into the demo. So here I'm going to create an automated flow and I'm going to click on skip. Firstly, we need to add the trigger. So our file is in OneDrive. So I need the OneDrive trigger and I'll use when the file is created properties only. So whenever a file is created, go ahead and pick the file and add watermarks to it. I'll select the unique folder. So under the root, I'll select the watermarked demo folder. And now that I have selected the demo folder, the next step, I need to go ahead and get the file content. So again, I'll type in OneDrive for business. So in this step, I need to add the ID. Click on the ID and that's pretty much it. Now that we have the ID, this is where the real magic will happen. That is, we are going to go ahead and get the Muhimbi action to add watermarks. So I'm going to go ahead and use the add text watermark action. The add text watermark action can go ahead and add watermarks to PDFs, DOCX, PPTX and XLSX documents. So let's quickly look at the configuration. The first thing it needs is the file content. So the file content is the output of the get file content action. Second, I need to go ahead and add the text that I need to add watermark. So I'll type in confidential. Next, I need to select a font family that is Arial. I want the watermark to be big. So I'll put in 72 as a font size. The font color is fine. The text alignment, I'll add it in middle center. Word wrap is good. Middle center looks good as well. And here I'll specify the width. So I'll specify the width as 600 by 600. These measurements are in points. The other advanced parameters would be the font style, the font outline. You can specify a watermark start page and an end page. You can also specify a watermark inter interval. You can go ahead and say what should happen on fail on error. And finally, you need to pass in the source file name. Now, this is important because this will help us identify which file it is, right? So I need to add the file name. Now that my action has been configured, the next step would be to add the SharePoint create file action. So I'll type in SharePoint create Right, and I need the create file action, the site name. Then I will select, so it's the communication site. And the name of the folder is employee files. Perfect. Within the employee files, this is my folder. I will need to give my file a name. So file name, right. But this time, I cannot use the base file name because the file can be of any type. So I'll use the name out here and then I will pass in the processed file content, which is the output of the create file action. So I'll give my flow a meaningful name saying confidential watermark and I'll click on save. So I'll quickly go ahead and try to manually test my flow. So I have triggered my flow. And let me drag and drop a document. So my file has been uploaded and this should trigger my flow. So let's wait. Perfect. So it picked up the file. It got the file content. As of now, it's trying to add the watermark. It's trying to do it. And it created the file. So let's quickly go into the SharePoint site and look at the file. So the file has been created. Let me quickly open it in the browser. And here you see, my friends, that we have a confidential watermark. Perfect, right? So if you want to fine-tune the watermark, I can go back into the add text watermark action. And what I want to do is I want to rotate 
rotate the watermark, right? So let me find the rotate. So I'll click on show all and I'll give it a rotation angle of minus 45. Right now that I have given the angle to minus 45, I also want to change the opacity. I'll change the opacity to 50%. I'll change my watermark to be added at the background. I'll again save my flow and I'll upload a few documents into my OneDrive folder, right? So I'll click on test, click on manual test, right? So let me upload a few documents and let's wait for our action to get triggered and add watermarks to it. So here you see that it has picked up the file it has got the file content and now it's trying to add the watermarks and it has succeeded adding the watermarks and also creating the files. So let me quickly go back and if I look at the run history, it seems that it worked for all the file types. So let me go back into my SharePoint. And let's quickly check the files. So this was the new file or the new PDF document that we added. You see the watermark is nice and it tells confidential in the background. The next file that I'm going to try and use is actually a Word document. So let me try to open this in Word application. Perfect. So here you see that it has a confidential watermark. Next comes the PowerPoint. So let me add, open the PowerPoint, perfect. It has the confidential watermark and finally the Excel file. So you'll see Clavin, where is the watermark in the Excel file? The watermark should be there when you try to go ahead and print it. So firstly, I need to enable it and then click on print. And here, my friends, you have the watermark. The reason you don't see the watermark in an Excel file when opened is because an Excel file can be a single cell or it can be maybe a millions of cells, right? So where do we add watermarks? We add watermarks in the print view. I hope this quick tutorial was informative. Thank you for your time. Have a great day and bye-bye.